So, you want to pick the Eagle Union. Orida! Do you mind, Enterprise? Fandy, no. You will have your time in a moment. Let me get to my intro, please. To be honest, I don't have that many ships leveled up or worked on currently with Eagle Union, but I know they have some pretty strong ships from Enterprise to Sleepy Lappy. The battleship line is also pretty good with Alabama, Georgia, Massachusetts, Washington, and South Dakota. Also North Carolina. Once again, unlike the Iron Blood, the Eagle Union has some pretty good aircraft carriers. You have Enterprise, the Essex class of ships that include Essex, Bunker Hill, and Intrepid. You also have the lower rarities that include Hornet, Batten, Ranger, and Saratoga, with Ranger and Saratoga able to be retrofitted. Now let's look at the front line. Now the Vanguard for Eagle Union has some serious power. They have great AA in their ships, with the likes of San Diego, Seattle, Baltimore, and others with AA skills. They actually have quite a few ships that have anti-air skills in them. Light cruisers that show off San Diego, Seattle, Helena, Monte Carlo, and Cleveland, among others. Some heavy cruisers in Minneapolis, Bremerton, and Portland. And you can't forget about Baltimore. Now the destroyers are something at least. You have Laffey and Eldridge. And then it kind of drops off to just being kind of whatever. You do have a new SR destroyer in Alan M. Sumner, who was just released at the time of this video in the Ashton Rerun event, which is going on right now. Now, like I mentioned earlier, your backline for Eagle Union is pretty set. You have your carriers like Enterprise and Essex, which can handle whatever. You have Alabama and Georgia for shelling. And really, whatever else you need to use or want to have, you can run it. Triple CB, you can run it. Triple BB, you can run it. And it's going to work with the Eagle Union. Now the front line and back line are very solid and some of them you can get pretty early on in the game to work on and upgrade as you progress further into the game. Now let me mention some of the strong points here. Sandy is insane in terms of her AA damage. Her retrofit pushes that even higher while also giving her some survivability. It's highly recommended to get Sandy's retrofit. Enterprise is a good boss killer due to her skill and she's pretty good in PvP as well. Portland is a very good tank who starts off as a blue, just a rare, but the retrofit pushes her to her purple, purple rarity and makes her really, really tanky. Ranger is a good retrofit if you want to save fuel and just pull the RNG lever every time you air strike. Now most ships can be pulled from their build pools, or they're actually pretty easy to find. Enterprise, for instance, can be found in both the metal store and the special build pool, while Sandy can be found also in the metal exchange and you can find her in the light build pool. Probably a lot if you pull from the light build pool. The Cult of Sandy never actually sleeps. On the PR side, it ain't much, but it's still pretty good. In PR2, you have Seattle and Georgia. But as Eagle Union, you do have the ability to research St. Louis due to her needing only Eagle Union ships and also Chapin. So, in conclusion, would I recommend the Eagle Union? Oh, yeah, absolutely without doubt. Ships like Portland, which you can get early on, become really tanky ships later on after retrofitting. Ranger's good for low old requirement. Enterprise is insanely good. Sandy is pretty strong herself. Cleveland's a fan favorite to a lot of people. And Helena can kill bosses quickly with her radar ability. The Egyptian ships are quite strong and the event going on right now has Baltimore and Alabama in it. And if you don't have them, pull for them. They are very, very strong themselves. Alright, so with the Eagle Union done with, that is all the major factions in Azerlane, and I'm going to be doing some of the smaller factions, stuff like Northern Parliaments or getting an Empire, you know, because they are getting some ships, and they're starting to build, you know, a fleet or two, so I do want to cover them. All right, that's it for this video. Y'all have a good morning or night, wherever you are, and I'll see y'all in the next one.